Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a PlayStation 3 controller wirelessly on Windows. So to do this first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up with a file that looks like this. So you now need to right click on this file and go extract files. And whilst it's doing that you now need to right click in the bottom left hand corner and we're going to go up to settings and once you're on settings you now need to go to devices then we're now going to go to over on the right hand side you need to go to devices and printers and you will end up with a window that looks like this so I'm just close down that settings page now. So as you can see, I've not got any PlayStation 3 controller on here at the moment. Nothing exists. So once you've extracted these files, you can now go into the folder. And we're just going to go to the bin directory. And you can now plug in your Bluetooth um, dongle. So your Bluetooth USB. Or if you're using a laptop and it's already got Bluetooth built in then that's absolutely fine. You don't need to do anything just yet. So once you've plugged in your Bluetooth USB, Windows may detect some new drivers for it, or it may not. It depends, really. Um, Windows might already have the drivers installed. So now you need to plug in your PlayStation 3 controller as well. There you go. So you now need to double-click on this SCP driver. In fact, right click on it and go run as administrator. And you will end up with a window that looks like this. So you now need to go make sure you tick force install, configure service and Bluetooth driver. This is very important. So you need to make sure all three of those options are selected and you now need to go install and it's going to force install the drivers on the window. If you do get a window pop up saying, um, I can't quite remember what it says now, it's something like allow these drivers to be installed by unknown source, you need to allow the drivers. It's perfectly safe. These drivers are 100% safe, no virus or anything. So once you've installed that and it's all fine, you can now go exit. And you can now double click on the SCP server. So as you can see, we do have our controller at the top here um, under pad one. So it has detected our PlayStation 3 controller now. So if we go back to our devices and printers, as you can see, it's come up as a Xbox 360 controller, which is perfectly fine. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't matter. So we can just minimize that now. And we can now unplug. If I double click SCP monitor as well. So there we go. As you can see at the minute it's charging. And it's plugged in as a USB. But where we've installed our Bluetooth drivers. If I now unplug this controller. You should only have one red light on the controller flashing. Um, with port number one. So now if I unplug this controller and if I press the middle home button on the controller there you go as you can see it's got Bluetooth high and it is now connected wireless or should I say through Bluetooth. So it's not plugged in at all as you can see BTH that means it's Bluetooth and I've only got the one red light on. So that is how you connect a PlayStation 3 controller to Windows. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below. And if you have any questions or weren't too sure on something, comment below and I will try and comment back. If I don't, I'm sure someone else might know the answer. So, yeah, if you haven't already, and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.